Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys are all enjoying our 2022 January June mini catalog and celebration party today. Um, I just wanted to jump on and say thank you for joining me and if you guys have any questions at all, um, either today, tomorrow, or whenever you have time to look at everything, please do not hesitate to ask. I will have this party page, the group page open. Um, well, I probably will never close it, to be honest, so you guys can always use it as a reference. But I wanted to jump on, though, also, and wanted to walk with you guys on a simple stamping card. For those of you who don't know what simple stamping is, it is just that. It's simple. It is stamps, ink, and paper. And today we're actually going to step it up a little bit, and we're going to use our Wink of Stella also so technically not simple stamping but in, in the sense is still there we're going to use the calming camellia stamp set which is in the celebration uh, brochure you can earn this one free get to the page here um it is the host gift um if you have a party host a party and you have um party orders or your party sales or even a personal order of $300 or more, you will receive this uh, stamp set absolutely free from Stampin' Up! as a thank you gift during celebration. We love celebration. It is um, one of our favorite times because, I mean, who doesn't like free stuff? I know I do. And I'm pretty sure the rest of you guys do too. So, but let's get started on this. Um, we're going to be using soft suede cardstock. Um, I got it written down here, uh, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter are your measurements. And I'll get all this posted in a document and posted on the actual Facebook page in the file section. So that will be there for you. Um, also in the group page, there is a file for the scavenger hunt. And don't forget to fill that out and go through the catalog it is the mini catalog only you can find the answers online in the store or if you have a catalog or you can download the pdf file catalog which i've also posted a link to that so make sure you guys do that and comment on the group party page that you have completed it and your name will be submitted into a drawing for a prize which i have not revealed yet um, i will be drawing a name February 1st, um, I'm going to say probably about 4 or 5 o'clock, so make sure you have your names in by then. So, okay, back to the card. We are going to use, like I said, soft suede, and I've got mine already done. You're going to want to fold it prior to stamping because of the way we're going to stamp. And like I said, we're going to use the calming camellia, the, the large flower, and then we're going to use a sentiment. Um, the you make me smile sentiment. So the first thing we want to do is get our soft suede ink out and we are going to stamp our large flower onto gotta get it good and inked up. Another way you guys can stamp these um, just a little trick here for the larger stamp sometimes it's better if you pick up your stamp pad and just flip it over and do it that way. That way you can make sure you're getting it good and coated and you're not gonna get it on the edges here so you don't get halos or the, the edging of the stamp because we don't, nobody wants that. So what we're gonna do is now that we've already inked up, we're going to stamp on our big flower. We're gonna come down here in the corner, kind of off the page a little bit and stamp it down. And there you go. This is a distinctive stamp set, so the imaging of the flower is very, very distinct. You can really see the, the just the detail in the flower is just remarkably amazing. I love the distinctive stamps. Now we're going to ink that up one more time and stamp it again. And it should be, whoops. Look at that. See, even I get it on the sides all the time. I just wipe it off because I don't, I'm really good at getting halos and I don't, I don't really like them. You can hide them, but it's hard to do on a simple stamping um, card. So, but anyway, we are going to stamp the second one kind of down here, um, kind of overlapping a little bit. 
and we're just going to stamp that down. And then without, actually we're going to stamp that, we'll ink that up one more time. I wasn't going to, but I guess the, the line there on the bottom is really wonky. So now that I've inked it up one more time, I'm going to stamp it off. This is just stamping it on a scrap piece of paper off to the side. And we're going to take our stamp again and stamp it the opposite direction towards the bottom and just lightly press it on there. Now you'll see once I pick it up that it'll be a lighter shade of the soft suede. And that is all we will need for that. And we're going to go ahead and take the soft suede again, the ink, and stamp our sentiment. And we are going to just stamp that right about, yeah, let's say like right about here. And just stamp that down, just like that. So that's all done. We can put that away. Now, like I said, I were gonna kind of step it up a little bit, but this is really, really simple. And the effect you get is really cool. We're gonna use our Whisper White ink and our Winkastella uh, glitter brush. Um, we were also going to need the Whisper White. You don't necessarily need the reinker, but it does help because these are really hard to squish down and I can never get enough white on my lid for what I actually want to do. And you can see there I have just a little, a little dot. I'm hoping you guys can see that. Just right here I have a little dot in the lid of the ink. And that is all you need. And you can get that effect by, by squishing. Um, you know, if you take it and just kind of squish it up and down, like really, really hard. And we open it up, you can see there where it, you know, I just ink the lid. And that's just a really good way to get a little ink off that you should need. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our Winkastella brush and we're just going to lightly draw some of that ink out. Not a whole lot. I wish I could get closer so you guys could see. And you just want to just draw that away from the pile and kind of smooth it out so you're not picking up a whole bunch. And if you want, you can take it over here and just kind of test it a little bit just to make sure you're not too loaded because you don't want to turn the whole thing white. You just want to lightly add what they call um, a whitewash. Um, this, but this is also called, um, it's a whitewashing technique. And people do it a lot with uh, water brushes and our blender pens. But we're going to use the Wink Stella because it also adds just a little pop of sparkle. So we're just going to come in here and kind of whitewash our flower petals. And we're just going to kind of do random. We're not going to do them all. And you notice how I'm not re-inking right away. I'm not going to get more ink on there because I want it to fade out. And you can also push it around on your image without actually having to do much. And that is that flower. I'm going to bring it in closer. I'm hoping you guys can see that effect because it's really, really, really neat how it's done. I'm going to actually bring the light, maybe, bring the light over just a little bit so you guys can see it. Whoops. I totally blurred that out, didn't I? There we go. Now you can see it. See how I just kind of whitewashed that a little bit? You can just barely see the little hint of white. Put a little bit back on there. Now we're just going to do that with a couple more of the flowers here and there. Just, like I said, random. You don't want all of it to be white. You still want to have some of the natural suede flowers. And this is just gonna pop it out just a little bit. And it's gonna give a little sparkle because everybody needs a little sparkle in their life. It's kind of randomly and don't forget to do down here, on your second one that we stamped up. Again, just random. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be neat. Because it just kind of smears on there and then it soaks into the paper and you can't really see where, you know, if you just kind of scribbled it on there, you can't really see it to see the mistakes, I guess. Um, I'm going to do it real lightly over here. I'm going to see if I can pull this off without making it too dark. <clears throat> I tried it earlier today and it, it was a total fail. So, But we will try again and hopefully prevail this time. Yeah, like that. And that, I'll lighten that up a little bit, is a simple stamp with a hint of stepping up card. Um, you can stamp the sentiment on the inside of the card if you'd want to right in here. I'm personally going to leave it blank um, because I don't, I like to handwrite in my cards a lot. Um, I don't have an envelope handy, but I would take the, darn it, I thought I had an envelope here, but I don't. I will take the stamp and stamp it um, just kind of like, kind of like I did here, but only on the side of the envelope because you don't want to send a naked envelope. Never send a naked envelope. Always make sure you stamp on there. And I'll, I'll stamp it on the envelope with the soft suede ink to match everything up. So and there we have it. That is all simple stamping is. It is simple, it's fun, and it is beautiful. Uh, I have a simple stamping series going on on my blog over at uh, mickeyspaperstales.wordpress.com. And you can see every... Sunday and Wednesday, I post a new simple stamping card with instructions on how to create it. So I will get a file uploaded for you on how to do this particular card. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Happy stamping!